What is up guys, it's the Depressed Panda here, and I'm here today, once again, in virtual reality. Ooh, Starship. And, as you guys can see, I'm playing Star Trek Bridge Crew, and there she is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the uh, NX 1767 or 87, one of the two. The USS Aegis, which is my ship. And, um, we are going to uh, explore the campaign and what it has to offer. So, we'll see how we go. So, without further ado, we are going to jump right into it. There she is. She is gorgeous. So you can do a lot of things here. Um, so we've got the campaign, which we're going to play a little bit of. We've got ongoing voyages, which is basically just sandbox mode, where you get given a mission and you do things. You can even play this beauty of a ship. Apparently it's really weird though. Like, I've had a look at it, and uh, the buttons are odd, to say the least. Anyway, we're going to play the campaign, so we're going to start with the prologue. And here we go, I guess. Ooh. Let me just have a look around here. Ooh, we've got starships behind me. We've got uh, 3D chess over there. Anyway, we're going to get into this prologue. So, here we go. Ooh, here Captain's we go. Log, Stardate 2258.161. It is an My crew is assembled, and we're preparing to disembark on our trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Ooh. Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead, and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. Sounds like a plan. Okay, here we are. I am the captain. Got my captain, buttons here. Yes. From Deep Space K7. Ah, answering hail. Opening channel. Aegis. We have a freighter coming into dock, and we've, uh, we've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Roger that, K7. Okay. What are our objectives? Scan the Ragusa. Right, Ragusa? Which one's the Ragusa? Ulu. Ah, that one. Ragusa. Helm, approach the target, please. She's that way, why are you going this <laughs> What you doing, you daft bastard? Alright, well, we've got some cool stuff here. We've got Lieutenant Tanar on engineering, we've got Lieutenant Hoyle on tactical, and Ensign Rao on the helm station. We've got not Spock over there. We've got not a Horo over there on communications. But those guys don't really do anything. It's these three guys and me that do everything. <sighs> I'm excited. Uh, where are we going? So I can do a number of things. For example, I can look outside the ship if I want to. Oh, beautiful. So that's the bridge, the glowing, glowing ball in front of me there. There's the, uh, there's the other ship. Let's get a closer look at that on the screen. So we can magnify. We can do this. Alright, we should be close enough to scan. Please scan the target. Okay, so while we're scanning, we can see how far along they are with that. No life signs, apparently. Not detecting any unusual life forms aboard the freighter, Captain. I'll let K7 know the ship's clean. Okay, sounds good. Warp to Gamma Hydra to continue the patrol. Sounds like a plan. Prepare for warp. Understood. Initializing warp protocols. Adjusting power. Warp course plotted. Lining up for warp vector. So we can see our status, our power, uh, consumption. You know what I have to do now, guys. It's it's gonna happen. Engage. It had to be. I I, I had to say. Oh, hello. What do we got? Got one ship on sensors apparently. Oh. 
Oh, let's get close. I'm picking up a distress signal, Captain. Channel open. On screen. USS Aegis. My vessel has lost all power and our life support systems are nearly exhausted. We have a crew of six. I request that you take us aboard your ship as soon as possible. Sounds like a plan. We will approach. Let's balance that power again, thank you. I love the little rescue the crew of the Talon. Yeah, I love the little uh, holographic bits you have down here. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's a big piece. Maybe don't ram into that. Ooh, that was close. Ah, right, this is cool. Oh, that's gonna hit. Oh, cool. So yeah, so this game plays, as you can see, in the Kelvin timeline, which is the ones from the newest movies, yeah. Not Discovery, but the new movies. Alright, we're within transporter range, and nowhere... Oh, we have to scan them first, don't we? Okay. Aye, aye. Changing targets. <sighs> so you can, I can personally switch to every single one of these stations and do things, but I love being the captain. Because it just gives me control over everything, but in multiplayer, uh, every bun, uh, every bun, every one of these stations, every one of these stations will be occupied by somebody. All right, let's beam them aboard. Full stop. How are we doing on that transport? Okay, there's nothing actually being beamed across. Objectives updated. We've rescued the crew. Gotcha. Okay, now what? What's the plan here? We have a priority message incoming from Starfleet Command. On screen. Opening channel. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. Understood. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. Sounds like a plan. Okay, where are we going? Section 6. Alright, so let's head to that nebula. Prepare for impulse. Allocating engine power for impulse. Making ready for impulse. On your mark, Captain. Make it so. See, we can see how far we are. Also on the screen, we can see where we are in relation to where we're going. Okay, we're doing alright. I have the red alert button. It, it's the big red button that does all the cool things. Hopefully you guys will get to see that. Alright, what do we got? Captain, I'm detecting gravitic mines in the area. Oh dear. If we get too close, they'll be attracted to our hull, and the damage could be severe. We should keep our distance. Let's have a look. Ooh, those are nasty. Uh, can we get a weapons lock on these? The Let's... Boost power to uh, are, phases. Alright. Fire at will. Where'd that go? Okay, there's another one back behind us. Whoopsies. Alright, let's take us there, please. Home. We need to have a look at tactical fire at that mine. Good. What do 
we got balanced weapons. Do we have any systems to repair? No, okay, I would hope not. Okay, I think there's another mine over there. Yep. So we're 17 kilometers out. Can we scan Understood. it, please? Transferring data to your panel, Captain. What do we got? Void grammatic mines. Grammatic gravitic. I can't. I can't speak English today. I was about to say I can't spell. Okay. They're not grammatic mines. Ooh. It is not a federation frequency. It looks like a civilian vessel needs assistance as well. We've reached our destination. I'm picking up a signal on emergency frequencies. Hi. On screen. Hey, that's my line. Aegis, according to my engineer, our engines are locked in some sort of malfunction cycle. If we could temporarily override them, I think we can fix the problem. Roger that, Beltane. We are en route to assist. Where is she? Oh dear. She's surrounded by mines. Yeah, not good. Okay. Oops. Have I scanned this thing yet? I have, okay. Let's go blow those mines up. And that we need to scan. We cannot scan that, okay. Ah, we can't scan it because our sensors are affected by the anomaly we're in. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Um, what's our phase of power? Okay, that's good. That's good. It's just scanners and sensors. Aren't they the same? Fire. Boom. Pop goes the mine. Alright, take us to the I Beltane. Can't we can't scan that yet, because we can't scan anything, okay. Can't engage that yet, because we're too far out. Can we shoot them yet? Nope. Okay. Oh, those are big nasty bastards. Now we can fire at them though. What was that? We blow them up. Hello? Anyone? Oh, they're behind that asteroid. What is going on? Oh, it is behind that asteroid, okay. Come on, fire. Thank you. Good. Oh, wrong one. That one. Alright, I think we're close enough. 10 kilometers, that's close enough to beam. Full aye, stop. What is wrong with my knee? Why do my knees look so weird? We have, okay, so we need to disrupt their engines. Starting disruption attempt. Targeting. Boop. Boop. Hey, she's done it. That's what we're here for. Alright, we need to find the... what was it? <laughs> I forgot what ship we're after. <laughs> oh well. Scout Bye, it, Captain. please. Changing target. Scan initiated. Scan complete, Captain. We've arrived. 
I believe our lost ship is showing on sensors now, Captain. We're being hailed. Oh, good. On screen. What is that? Roger that, Nicholson. We're on route. We have ten minutes to rescue the survivors. Oh, we're closing in. Okay, we are way too close. Scan out. Let's back off here. Because a warp core explosion is going to do a little bit of damage. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. Beaming the board. Acquiring transporter lock. Come on, I need to get back here. Get the hell out of here. Alright, is that all of them aboard? Okay. I'm gonna back off and then we're going to scuttle her. Arriving at our destination. Yes, Captain. Arming torpedoes. Arm torpedoes. Let's raise the shields just to be sure. We don't want to be caught without shields with a war in a warp core explosion. That would be very stupid. Target on screen. There are shields raised. Shields are up. Helm, fire torpedoes. Roger that. Target selected. Any day now. Do we need to turn? Is that what you need me to do? Aye, aye, Captain. Staying with them. Nice. Aye, aye, Captain. Bring her to full stop. Cease fire. Aye, aye, Captain. Ceasing fire. Whoa, fuck. Well, that was bad. Oh, dear. They're sending us new coordinates. Oh dear lord, that was, uh, oof, we took a lot of damage there, we took 30% of our hull damage, ouch, I thought I was far enough away, I had my shields up, I guess not, okay, don't fuck with the warp core, okay, we're going to the neutral zone, oh dear, that never ends well, whoops, wrong one, flooding course, Alright, we can drop our shields now. Lower shields. Aye, Some shields. Torpedoes. torpedoes. How are we looking? Did we, did we take any damage? We took some damage, didn't we? We took a lot of damage. That is on fire. Can we get somebody to fix this, please? No. Okay. Prepare for impulse. Plotting impulse course. That doesn't look good. The bridge is on fire, why is no one panicking? Anyway, engage. Alright, we have pretty much reached section 10. Oh dear. Captain, I'm getting something on the distress channel. Putting it on screen. This is Captain James Hunter. 
Oh, you <laughs> motherfuckers. Really? <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Of course it's the Kobayashi Maru. What else would it be? That places them in the Klingon neutral zone. Entering the zone would put us in violation of treaty. That's not good. Do not violate the Klingon neutral zone and rescue the Kobayashi Maru. Well, can we scan her helm? No, we can't because we're too far out. Okay. Let's take out some of these mines. How are we looking? Full power to phasers. Okay, let's take out some of these mines, please. Fire phasers. Okay. Well, I am making the decision to enter the neutral zone and assist the Kobayashi Maru all hands red alert. Let's get these shields up, ladies. Engage the mines. No, not with the torpedoes, you dongus. Jesus Christ. Ah, she's so eager, isn't she? Oh, this is not gonna end. Hey, look, we're not we're no longer on fire. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. We can fire the torpedoes. No, we cannot fire our phases. Alright, well, I'm gonna blow up these two mines and then assist the Kobayashi Maru. Can we somehow turn off the simulator, <laughs> please? Maybe. No. We're approaching the Klingon neutral zone, Captain. All right, all stations, stay alert. There are probably Klingon ships in the area. Can we fire our phasers yet? Nope. Still out of range. What is our phaser range? Four. <laughs> our phaser range is four. Okay. I guess that's what this little circle is here. Any second now. Alright, now we should be in range. Fire at will. Alright, let's approach the Kobayashi Maru. We can't scan her. We are nearly in range of that one. And fire at will. Oh boy, do we have a tractor beam or something so we can tow them back? Oh dear. Please do. Well, she doesn't look that damaged. Well, let's get him off. Oh yeah, we have to lower shields for this, don't we? Shit. Full stop. 381 crew. Oh dear. Oh dear, can we get a lock please? Energizing. Thank you. There are others remaining aboard the target. Raise shields. Where is that cloaked ship? Shit. New contact. Engage target. Roger that. Targeting. Firing. New target locked. Initiating scan. Let's 
looks like she's a raptor. Aye, aye, Captain. Attempting system distraction. Stand by. Changing target. Follow. Aye, aye. Shield clear. Established. Enemy vessel destroyed. All clear, Captain. Alright. This isn't too bad yet. Let's get some more people off the Kobayashi Maru. We're doing alright so far. Although we have lost 30% of our hold before we even got here. Alright, let's get some more, come on. Sensors are showing waveforms consistent with recent cloaking activity. Oh dear. Oh shit, raise shields. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. Roger that. Targeting. Holding fire. Scanning target. Updating target. Scratch one hostile. I am sending new data to your panel, Captain. Attempting to disrupt. Target selected. Let's hit him with everything we've got. He's behind us. Okay, why are we over here? <laughs> Come on, we need to hit him with everything we've got. Engage the damn target. The weapons are offline for a second, so we need to hit them, guys. Come on. Where is. Oh, he's. Oh my god, hello. Good, good. We're hitting the bastard. Alright, let's grab some more dudes. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. We're not doing too well. We're not doing too badly either. We only have 369 men left to go. Or women or aliens. Stop looking at me. Energizing. Bloody feminists. Still others aboard. All right, let's get him again. Come on, let's keep him coming. Keep him coming. I have noticed a pattern of unusual sensor echoes. They are indicative of the recent use of a cloaking device. All right, it's shields. All right, where are these bastards at? Good shields are up this time. Why are our shield levels? What the hell? Maximizing power to shield emitters. Aye, aye. Balancing power allocation. Full, no. power, to Full power to phaser bank. There we go. Oh, that's something. Oh, dear. Engage. What? No, I don't see fire. Take out his shields. Oh, nice, his shield's down. Let's hit him with everything we've got. Oh, our well, shields are dropping fast. Can we get some more power to the shields, please? Ah, uh, okay, well, our shields are down anyway. Let's... Let's beam some guys over. Come on, we're still at 62% hull. No, don't save the torpedoes for later, we need those. Back up. Acknowledged. I'm sending new data to your panel. 
Not sure how much more of this we can take. Uh, nice. Alright, we got him. Alright, one more, and then I don't know if we can stay, unfortunately. We are below 50% hull integrity. remaining aboard the target staying with them particle analyzers are reacting there may be a cloaked vessel operating in the area calculating tracer fire control restore uh, turn off engage anymore shield emitters repair we're showing off their sensors shields are shield being transported new contact one hostile bear for impulse that is a Klingon battle cruiser. Okay, we cannot take that. We need to get the hell out of here. We're ready to go. Engage. God damn it. Congratulations, Captain. You and your crew have just completed the Kobayashi Maru simulation. I know it's not easy to face a no-win situation like that, but it's a necessary test, both for Starfleet and for yourselves. I think we all have a better idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Based on your overall performance, I'm not only clearing the Aegis for Operation Distant Shore, I'm recommending that you lead the expedition into the trench. Well, <laughs> I mean, it could have gone better, honestly, but there we go. <sighs> How many did we get? We got 30 survivors. I think that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Alright guys, well, that is all the time I have for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've been the Depressed Panda, and I'm going to see you guys next time for more.